What's up, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Acer Iconia Tab A200 tablet. Although Android might have stumbled initially in its competition with Apple's iPad, it's starting to make inroads in the tablet market thanks to 7 and 10 inch devices that can get the job done without emptying your wallet. Acer's Iconia Tab A200 might not be the fastest tablet on store shelves, but it has more than enough power where it counts. Should you consider getting this for your next tablet? Let's find out. The Acer Iconia Tab A200 that we reviewed from the Acer eBay store was powered by an NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual-core processor running at 1 GHz with 1 GB of RAM, an Android 4.0 or ice cream sandwich. It came with 8 GB of internal storage that could be expanded to 32 GB of storage via microSD card, and content was displayed on a 10.1-inch multi-touch display with a native resolution of 1280 by 800. It also came with full Wi-Fi support, Bluetooth 2.1, a full-size USB port, and a 2-megapixel front-facing camera with microphone. One thing that we noticed about the Iconia tab is that it feels very solid and sturdy. Other tablets can sometimes make you feel like you need to handle them carefully or they'll get damaged. The tab, by contrast, seems as though it can withstand any daily use you might put the tablet through. That doesn't mean that you want to try dropping it or throwing it around, but it's nice to know that it's pretty sturdy. We also like the textured finish of the back of the device that provided a slip-free grip and was less prone to showing fingerprints. Something that's always been an advantage for Android tablets over the iPad is the ease of expansion for the device. The Iconia Tab packs a full-size USB 2.0 port, which is perfect for connecting the tablet to a laptop, as well as a micro SD card slot for additional storage, which we recommend if you're planning on installing lots of apps or storing multimedia. We took full advantage of this feature because our system came with only 8 gigabytes of storage, with just over half of that available thanks to the install of Ice Cream Sandwich on the tablet. One thing that stands out is the battery life for the Iconia tab. Obviously, battery life by itself is completely dependent on what you're doing with the tablet, so the 3260 milliamp battery will drain a lot faster if you're playing games or doing something else that taxes the Tegra 2 processor. We found that we could easily watch three or more Netflix movies before the battery was completely drained, and we could pull multiple days from the device if we didn't do anything overly intensive, like web browsing or streaming songs here or there. Speaking of surfing the web, it's a pretty smooth experience on the Iconia tab, and we didn't notice any annoying lag during use. Slides loaded quickly and pinch to zoom was good, although faster tablets definitely have it beat. Finally, we have to admit that one of the biggest selling points for the tablet is its size and its price. The Iconia Tab is a 10.1 inch slate, with the largest 32 gig model available for 330 bucks. That's in the iPad mini price range, but you're also getting a larger screen. Then again, while getting a larger screen is a plus, it's not the sharpest screen available on a tablet. You're getting a low resolution at 1280 by 800 for the display, and the colors don't seem to be as deep or as rich as you'd hope. It's decent for a tablet, especially for what you pay for the device, but it's really not that great. Other issues we have with the Iconia tab are some of the corners that were cut to help keep the price low. While it comes with a front-facing HD camera, it's missing a rear-facing camera. So unless you're planning on taking a lot of shots of things behind you, you're not really going to take a lot of pictures. The speakers are also way too soft to be effective, and there isn't an HDMI port on the device either. Also, while we mentioned that the tablet felt solid and sturdy as a positive, it's also actually a negative for the slate. It's half an inch thick and it weighs over one and a half pounds, making its weight and its size hard to ignore. Compared to a notebook, it's a lot more portable, but it's significantly heavier than other tablets out there. Finally, the Iconia tab is a bit behind the times. When it was initially released, Ice Cream Sandwich was pretty impressive, but with the release of Jelly Bean, the OS is outdated. Unfortunately, Acer doesn't plan on upgrading the A200 to Jelly Bean even though the hardware can support it. Now, it's not a big deal to have to root the device in order to install Jelly Bean, but it's disappointing that Acer isn't interested in keeping the tablet current, which could force some non-tech-savvy users to pass on this affordable slate. Initially, we thought that Acer should get some credit for delivering a full-size tablet that's very affordable. The 10-inch slate is easily expanded, it has a long battery life, and it comes in at a price point that's comparable to the iPad mini. 
but it's also clear that Acer cut some corners with this device, such as the unimpressive screen and speakers, the missing rear-facing camera, and the company's decision to not upgrade the device to Jelly Bean, which will definitely scare off some non-technical users. If you happen to be a first-time tablet owner, or you don't really care about some of these problems, you might want to look at this device, especially because it's pretty affordable. But with all of these issues, we decided to give the Acer Iconia Tab A200 a 3 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on tablets like the Acer Iconia Tab A200, be sure to check out the bit.ly link below. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com slash YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash videos.